Neto at the corner. Cesar San Paolo got in between three Scotsmen. Burley didn't quite make it. Cesar San Paolo did an unlikely scorer, and Brazil leads. Collins against Tafferel. Vital for Scotland. And he finds the corner. Tafferel went the right way, but couldn't reach it. That's a lovely ball to Capru from Dunga. Scotland in trouble. It's got in off Tommy Boyd. It's an own goal. Cafu claims it, Scotland so unlucky, Jury just failed to reach the ball, it came off Jim Layton from Cafu's shot and then rebounded home off Tommy Boyd. It's a lovely pass from Taha and plenty of space here for Hadji. Oh, great goal for Morocco! Dan Egan came across. But the slight of foot from Haji beat him, and then the shot sped past Grodas. What a chance for Norway to hit back. Berg, it's in! It came off, Schipo. Henning Berg made the challenge. But it has to go down here as an own goal by the unfortunate Shepov. It's a lovely run from Hadar. Oh, Morocco are back in front. Well, the movement was too good, and it was Egan who was struggling here. And great control. And the goal beautifully taken. Jonovic to whip it in, awkward for the goalkeeper, forced in by Egan. Well, if he's not so overjoyed, it's perhaps because his defending hasn't been uh, top class tonight, but he was Johnny on the spot and it's 2-2. Two -two. Reset. Oh, and they've left flow, have on flow! And Scotland can see the goal right at the start of the second half. Here's David Weir. Craig Burley chasing. And Burley gets there! Well, it's been an enterprising period of play from Scotland. And it's been rewarded with the equaliser. 1-1. Ronaldo's onside, and the best player in the world scores for Brazil. You can't afford in that sort of space. And plenty of options here for Brazil. They have Cafu free on the right if they can pick him out. This is Cafu, and that's 2 0. It's Rivaldo. Morocco was swamped then as Cafu drove over the cross. Ronaldo, he's got clear of Saber. He's round the defence, Bebeto's waiting, Bebeto scores, and it's all over now for Morocco. Long ball, Henry backtracking, but not sufficiently, and Bashir scores. Really struck it well, Leighton beaten on his near post. Praise be, but not for Scotland. Looking for Hadda, and he's got away from David Weir. And is it going in? It is! It's 2-0 Morocco, pushed up in the air by Jim Leighton, and he's unable to recover.
another long searching ball. Point header, it's a useful header. Bashir, lovely skill, and resisted the challenge, and scores! Got an affection, I think, of Hendry. Danielson. Still. Well, the referee's let him go on. And Bebeto scores! Well, that was extraordinary because it looked as though the referee was going to give Brazil a free kick. By not doing that, he's allowed them the goal from Bebeto. 12 minutes to go. Flow in a trial of strength with Junior Baiano. And Torre Andre Flo has struck back for Norway. All his own work. A very fine goal from a very fine player. It's wrecked up. It's 2-1 to Norway. An extraordinary turnaround. And how the man with the yellow boots has hurt those wearing the yellow shirts. Delight for Egil Olsen. Long ball looks for Baggio. Oh, what a great first touch, and here's Christian Vieri! And Italy lead. Ten minutes gone. A lovely, very simple goal. Quality of the pass by Baggio. The pace of the side foot by Vieri. Quick enough. Up goes Samarano. And Celes! 1-1. One, one. Oh, and look what it means. Really attacked the ball, Zamorano. And Salas, instant reaction when it came to him. Zamorano too good for Cannavaro. And Faliuca couldn't save the day. Baggio to take. And scores! Roberto Baggio ended the last World Cup by missing a penalty. Opens this one by scoring one. Vital for Italy. Ten minutes to go. Still nil-nil. This is Najanka now for Cameroon. He's round one. Oh, it's one of the goals of the World Cup so far. What a goal by Najanka. He tore through the heart of the Austrian defence. And look at this for a finish. What a goal. Austria flirting with defeat now. And here's Polster. He's equalised in stoppage time. Austria's most experienced player has done it to avoid defeat for Austria. Zamorano, Salas is there, Salas has turned the ball over the line. Austria claim it's not a goal, but the referee from Egypt says it is. Well, Austria have scored one late goal already in this competition. Is Vastic. Oh, they got another! Vastic with another late, late strike to rescue Austria. Plenty in the box for Italy. Di Biagio found that half yard of space from Roberto Baggio's cross and then found the corner. Looking short of numbers, this is Christian Vieri, and that's a lovely finish. 2-0 to Italy. Lovely chip as the goalkeeper went down. It's looking easy now for the Italians. 
Bit of hesitation, and Vieri makes it three. The ten men just couldn't hold on. Mistake by Wome, and a second goal for Vieri. Almost five minutes gone in the uh, start of the second half, and a goal! Christian Vieri, it's his fourth of these World Cup finals, powering in at the near post. <laughs> Nicely worked, Badjo back to Inzaghi, 2-0! It's Italy's victory now, and the two substitutes combine for the second goal, a tap-in for Robbie Baggio. So yet again, Austria score in time added on. It's been the story of their World Cup, but it's not been good enough. Andy Herzog's penalty, crisply hit past Paliuka. A parting shot from Austria. Sierra, brilliant! Well, they talk about Salas and Zamorano, but they shouldn't forget about Sierra. A wonderful free kick. Getting the cross in, second time around, and Mbomba! Well, that's rekindled the hopes for Cameroon. Corner to Denmark. Fisty clear by Ali Day. Back into the danger zone. Jorgensen. Plenty waiting for the cross here, including Reaper, and he scored! Mark Reaper could well have headed the winning goal for Denmark in Lens. Let a swing on Zidane's corner to Gary! And France take the lead, 34 minutes gone. Vaughn came for the punch, didn't make it. Dugarry certainly did, and he's the hero. He's on a zoo. Jokev, lots of deflections, and the final one is by Issa. An own goal gives France some breathing space. Extraordinary sequence. Deflection first by uh, Henri, finally by Issa. Certainly in confident mood now, this is Ori, And that's a lovely finish! Issa, you can't blame him this time, even though he did get his feet mixed up. Aimé Jacquet, delighted with the opening performance. And Henri, equally so. It was a delightful finish as the goalkeeper came. Just look at the quality of this. And poor Issa, saved it with his left, killed it with his right. Ryan Laudrup, Nielsen arriving. It's 1 0 to Denmark. Alan Nielsen, the goal scorer. What a cross by Laudrup. Mushui. Gauntlet. McCarthy. The level. Benny McCarthy has equalised for South Africa. And what a slap in the face for Denmark. Zidane. And Lizarazu continued his run. Ori! Well, it's taken them 36 minutes and a good part of that against 10 men, but France have their noses in front. So, uh, it was such a powerhouse. Oh, mistake by the goalkeeper, Trezeguet! Aldeia, who's normally so capable, makes the fumble and Trezeguet takes the chance. Look back for a clearance from Bartes, and Ori is in the clear. 
3-0. The direct route, and it's dynamite for France. And now Jokaev, and now Lizarazu! Well, amazingly, since Zidane has been sent off, they found their flow again, and it's 4-0. Jokaev with a penalty, and France have the lead on 12 minutes. And now Bartes has to face a penalty from Michael Laudrup. And Denmark are level. And that foul on Jorgensen by Condela proved decisive. Pires, Desai, Pires again, Petit, and France score again. The Arsenal man shot too much for Schmeichel. Saudi Arabia rather square, and they're caught out here by Bartlett. Who scores? Aldair looking for the cross. In the end, he's left embarrassed by the pace of the shot. Sami Al Jaber against Johannes Vonk. 1 1, but the goalkeeper unlucky. Takes the second penalty, and this time the goalkeeper goes the wrong way. And Saudi Arabia lead 2-1. Third penalty and an extraordinary finish to this match. Bartley, who scored the first, and scores surely the last, 2-2. Deflected, goal, first blood to Spain. Oh, oh, oh. Well, to take the corner, so the director still trying to get the defenders in the right place, and look at that! It's an equaliser, it's Adepoju. Delight for Nigeria. And Raul. Sneaked in and scored in such spectacular fashion. Well, Spain making a real statement at the start of this second half. Are you keen? The wow. Going on down that left-hand side and still going on. Well, it's gone in. Off Subi Zarata. The wow may well claim that, but it has to be an own goal. Alise. Oh, my word! Nigeria in front for the first time, and how? Amakachi. Igbeba. He scored. Igbeba with a superb goal for Nigeria. It's a long run for Yero, but he finds the corner quite beautifully. Clinical penalty, Spain lead, six minutes gone. Echeverria, good pullback, lovely pace, Luis Enrique, the sort of form that Spain were looking for from him at the start. We've reached match three before they found it. Opportunities either way here, good carrying, good pass, Morientes! The youngster who should have surely have been selected earlier finishes beautifully. 3 0. Kostadinov. Oh! How did he get it through there? He looked for the pass and instead swiveled on the ball and in off the post. Oh, 
Hungarians pushed up and they're caught here by Morientes, who gets his second. 4-1. Made absolutely sure with the extra touch of the red boots. Spanish players in attacking positions. Kiko! Oh, how many deflections there! Off the crossbar, off the goalkeeper, off the defender. That belonged in an amusement arcade. Pinball stuff. But it's five. Good ball in. Kiko looked offside, but the flag stays down. And that's number six through the goalkeeper's legs. It's not been his day, but it certainly has been Spain's at last. Ayala! Well, Paraguay have scored in the first minute their first goal of this World Cup in their third match. And it's Ayala flying in at the near post. Much changed. Nigeria, but they've got themselves in a bit of an early pickle here. Here comes a rumor. They're level. Benitez. Got a player to the left, but he goes for goal. It's a brilliant goal. And Paraguay have the lead again. So many gaps, and look at this, Cardozo. Paraguay are surely through to the knockout stage now. They lead Nigeria by three goals to one. <laughs> 28 minutes in. Oh, that's taking a deflection off Davido. And what a shot. South Korea had the lead. Pass free kick deflected past the Mexican goalkeeper, Jorge Campos. Corner to Mexico. Paliez, it's 1 1. And five minutes into the second half, the Mexicans are level. Blanco. For the first time, Mexico have the lead. Blanco again. Hernandez, he scored again! Two goals for Hernandez, a sealed victory for the Mexicans. Well, it rather hit him and bobbled over the line, but it's enough for Belgium. They score here two minutes before half-time. Wilmot, still going. And still going! Well, either side of half-time, Mark Wilmot has hit Mexico with both barrels. Well, the sending off now complete, Verheyen has gone, and it's the penalty, and it's Garcia Aspe, and it's 2-1. Ramon Ramirez. Mexico have got players flying into the centre, Blanco! Well, how on earth did he do that? 2-2! Camp. Good running along the line by Philip Koku, who's made some space and finds the corner quite beautifully. Bebianc, it's a useful ball. This is Mark Overmars, if he can come inside, and he can! 2-0 to Holland. Excellent finish by Arsenal's man. Inside, Joy Sung Yong, and a right foot shot. Bergkamp, that's brilliant. Oh, that's wonderful. Excellent play by Dennis Bergkamp. Look at the concentration and the arrogant flick at the end. Lovely goal.
Javier Van Hoydonk. Good match to be brought on as a substitute. Things going almost totally Holland's way. And that's a good cross by Overmars. And Van Hoydonk gets his name on the score sheet. Good ball, well taken by Ronald De Boer. Oh, an excellent finish. Great balance by De Boer, and he teed himself up for the crack. 5 nothing, Holland. Oliveira with the corner. Vidovic, oh, it's been cleared off the line. Neves! And Belgium have the lead. Vidovic desperately unlucky here that he didn't score, but Luke Nidish did. Now, what can South Korea come up with here? Oh, they can come up with a goal from their captain. He slid in, and the team's are level. And they haven't tracked the runner, and it's Koku. Collins, Mr. Versatility, gives them an early lead. And the Dutch power on again, Ronald de Boer, and he's done it! Off the inside of the post and in. And Mexico at the moment have absolutely no answer. Cam and Villa to take the corner. Palais! Well, it's bounced into the net, and I don't think anyone else touched it. Damn, doesn't get there, Hernandez does! What a finish here! A goal that means so much to Mexico. Mihailovic with his left, and he scores! Good movement by the Yugoslavs on the edge of the wall, but the goalkeeper got himself slightly tucked in behind his defenders, and the breakthrough comes for Yugoslavia. It's a very deep corner. Klinsman gets to it, and Muller has turned it in. Burns was guarding the post. But Andy Muller here, steering Germany into an early lead. Yeah. Klinsman just pulling away from Dooley. Well, that's the touch of a master. Wonderful play to lose. The captain of the United States, and it's Germany's captain who makes it 2 0. The other pitch takes over. And Stankovic! Did he get a touch? Ball certainly in, and he certainly did as Kropka came forward, and Yenemis couldn't save the day for Germany. He looks back almost in doubt. Did the ball really cross the line? Space on the right for Kovacevic, and it's through to him. Oh, Kopka and Stojkovic! An awful mistake by the German goalkeeper. And Stojkovic gratefully gives Yugoslavia a 2-0 lead. Tarnak to take, and thumps it. Oh, a huge deflection off Mijatovic, goalkeeper. Left with no chance. One that will claim. Huge pressure from Germany. Up goes Klinsmann and Bierhoff! It's 2 2. And it's a wonderful comeback. Now Zarinche. Estili's header! It's a super header! Well, the game, some said, would never take place. Here it is unfolding with real drama, and it's Iran 
five minutes before half time has scored the first goal. Madavikier in the clear. He's got support in the centre, he doesn't need it. It's surely Iran's victory now with six minutes to go. Goalkeeper's come a long way and made a mistake. McBride's header is it over the line? It is now. With Stewart following in. But it looked to me as though it was McBride's goal. And I think that replay proves it. 2 1. Tesla. And that useful Fearhoff. 50 minutes it's taken Germany, but finally they have the lead. Heinrich, well forward. Bit half, Klinsmann! Oh, what an amazing speed of reaction. The ball back off the post and headed in by Klinsmann. Wonderful. Mihanovic. Beaten away, Kobolyanovic! It was a good save, but Kobolyanovic turned the ball in from a very tight angle. It's well taken, and it's in! Do I have to tell you the scorer? Alan Shearer, who else? England lead, two minutes from half-time. Ince, first touch, second was brilliant. This is Scholes. Still Scholes! Oh, that's a wonderful goal! Curl on the ball from outside the line of the post. And beating the goalkeeper comfortably in the end. Stoppage time at the end of the first half. Adrian Ilier. Oh, he's crafted a really classy goal. Not too much in this first half, but here, a moment to remember for France 98. Ilier for Romania. Valderrama. Oh, that's a terrific tackle. Preciado through. Preciado scores with seven minutes left. Surely this is a winner now for Colombia. Aji finds a little bit of space, and England are in trouble, and this is Moldovan, and Romania are in front. Aji worked it, Moldovan scored it. Good finish, and a bit of magic from the little maestro. Beckham. Shearer driven a bit wide, useful pullback. Owen! Reacted more quickly than anyone else, and he becomes the youngest player to score for England in the World Cup. 1-1. Trescu just ahead of Graham Lasso. Oh, and it's gone in! Lasso with his head in his hands. A wrestling contest on the edge of the six-yard box, and the ball through the legs of David Stephen. Suiyar with a penalty. And a dream start for Tunisia. They lead Romania 1 0. <laughs> Romania have played better in the second half, and they've got a breakthrough here. Ili, Moldovan, they've got their equaliser at long last. Ili's cross wasn't dealt with effectively, and Moldovan dealt with it effectively. So it getting in the cross. Anderton! Well, that's brilliant for England. And Darren Anderton, whose place has been the subject of much debate, bears out Glenn Hoddle's judgment. He's never scored for England. He has now! 
tremendous first half this is turning out to be on a night when England have to win. Batty Stuta, he's clear of the defence. And Batty goal strikes at long last. Back, shook out off the crossbar. Stanich. Oh, he did really well to sort his feet out. Croatia lead, 27 minutes gone. This will cross. Robbie Earl. Oh, he met it so well. Oh, say. Wozinetsky. Pulled them completely, and it's gone in! Low on the far post, couldn't keep it out. 2-1, Croatia. Dickinson quality are beginning to show. Two up for the cross. Shukes made himself a bit of room, and he's been given a bit more here. And he makes it three in spite of the deflection. They stood off him. And Jamaica paid the penalty. And here's Shuka. And they've got one at last. 13 minutes to go. And Japan's resolve finally broken here by Davor Shuka. on that's a lovely ball, Ortega scores a beautiful goal, quality all through, through ball, and it was first time here or nothing, and it proved to be everything. Oh, good change of pace by Ortega, gets him through the gap, that's another lovely goal for the little man, he's living up. To what's required of those who wear the number 10 shirt for Argentina. Maradona would have been very happy with that in his heyday. Ortega, Batistuta with a bit of space here. Oh, that's a cracking drive from Batistuta. Sheer pace of it across the face of uh, Warren Barrett. So much space, they've given Batistuta here, and it's four. And it's easy for Argentina now. Batistuta with the chance of the hat-trick, which he takes. Scored one in 94 in the World Cup in America. Opens with one here now in France. Six minutes to half-time. Oh, here's Whitmore. He's through and he's scored, and Jamaica have the lead. Suspicion of handball there, but Whitmore didn't wait for the whistle, didn't wait for the defence or goalkeeper. Whitmore again, he's already scored one. Oh, he's in his second! That's an even better goal! Jamaica 2-0 ahead now. Magna Lopez, Nakayama! And Japan have the goal they crave. Magna Lopez had a right into the path of Nakayama. Well, these be two successful sides in Group A. Jim Pineda edges in Argentina's way. Brought into the side for this game and really making a mark. Hector Pineda. Biaggio, he's picked out Vieri, and Vieri picks out the goal. They just can't stop Vieri scoring. Oh, they 
scored. Cesar Sampaio, who headed in against Scotland right at the start of this World Cup, has scored against Chile here. Well, here comes Roberto Carlos, deflected. And stayed in by Cesar Sampaio again. Well, the most unlikely hero for Brazil in terms of the goal scoring. the penalty. He's about to take the penalty. He is Ronaldo. Oh, the goalkeeper got there but couldn't keep it out. It's tough on Chile, but they're three down. Number nine, Ronaldo. Here goes Amarano, comes off Tafarel Salas. They've worked very hard for that. Amarano distracting the goalkeeper. And Salas stooping to conquer. And Rivaldo puts Ronaldo in the clear. 4-1, order restored for Brazil. And another one for Ronaldo to dedicate to his entourage. Pires, Rezeguet, blow! It's the golden goal for France. Laurent Blanc almost straight through Stilavert, but the French nation celebrates. Yeah, and Michael Laudrup has darted in here. Muller! Well, Peter Muller has been uh, talking in the Danish press, saying, give me a game and I'll show you what I can do, and he's lived up to his boast. To Muller. Goalkeeper's lost it. Brian Laudrup! And this is the time for me to remind you that whenever Brian Laudrup has scored for Denmark, Denmark have never lost. Michael Laudrup. Sand into the action. The substitute and he's taken the chance splendidly. Within... A couple of moments, it seems, of coming on. Evi Sand makes it 3-0. There are more pickings for Denmark here, surely. Helveg waiting in the centre. Helveg! It's four. Banged in by the man who's going to play for Milan next season. Such disappointment for Nigeria, such huge expectations. Babangida! Well, a little reminder of what they're capable of, but in a losing cause, surely. Frank the ball. Picks out Bergkamp, who brushes off Mirkovic. Goal! Dennis Bergkamp leads Holland towards the last eight. Mirkovic with a free kick. You know, Komal Jenovic! Another Komal Jenovic header. He's trying to draw Yugoslavia level. Dobic. It's got in! A dramatic last gasp equaliser for Edgar Dobic. Just as we were anticipating a penalty shootout. Hernandez, a little bit of space. He's done it well. Oh, he's done it supremely well. He's given Mexico the lead. Long ball, and Laris lost it, Klinsmann, ever the predator. Got stuck under Laris feet, and there was nothing the goalkeeper could do. Tarnat. 
Matthias having to come back to collect. Still three Germans in the box. And this is Bierhoff! Germany in front. Bierhoff getting the better of Lara. And Campos could do nothing again. Schuker prepares to take this penalty. Can Ladic keep it out? He can't. Croatia are in front after 45 minutes. Well, David Seaman's given away the penalty and he can't stop it. Banistuda bangs Argentina into the lead. And the celebrations recognising the birth of his latest child. Upset Shearer and anything Banistuda can do, Shearer can do as well. And the sides have exchanged penalties. 1-1 with only nine minutes gone. Here's Owen. He could be away here. Michael Owen. He's got goals with him. But it's still Owen. Oh, what a goal! This 18-year-old has electrified the world. It's a wonderful goal. Zanetti, England caught out, and that's a tremendous equaliser for Argentina. Wonderful craft in the free kick, and it's Zanetti, it's 2-2, and what a first half this has been. Brian Laudrup, Jorgensen, it's 1-0. Denmark snatch a surprise lead. And Brian Laudrup is the architect of the goal. Jorgensen is the goal scorer. And Bebeto through here. Is this the equaliser? Yes, it is! Bebeto draws the sides level after Ronaldo had put him clean through. The attention of Helbeck didn't unsettle him. Ronaldo, this is Rivaldo, and Brusilla in front for the first time. What a stunning finish by Rivaldo. <laughs> Roberto Carlos has made an error. Brian Landrup, incredible. What a mistake by Roberto Carlos. And Brian Landrup was there to punish him. to be. Rivaldo. Oh, it's another one. What a superb strike. Schmeichel was beaten comprehensively. Oh, it's a lovely little header from back and Clevert! And Holland have the early lead. A quality goal. Clive so sharp, but what a lovely cushion header by Dennis Bergkamp. Get on, Lopez is onside. And that's a brilliant finish. Really took his time, totally confident, delayed on the shot. Holland caught out. Lopez makes it 1-1. Long ball from Frank De Boer, seeking out Dennis Bergkamp. Oh, that's brilliant! Oh, that's wonderful! That is a magnificent goal! And it's taken Holland into the next round for sure. Brilliant play by Dennis Bergkamp. And they're in the semi-finals now. Robert Yarny. It's a goal! We wondered whether the sending off of Burns would have an effect on this game. It surely has now with Yanni's goal. And here come Croatia on the counter-attack. Vlaovic now. It's all over! Croatia are going to the semi-finals. There's no way back for Germany. Night for Croatia. And here's Devil Shuka. And what 
a knife for Davos Shuka. As he aims to be the leading goal scorer of France 98. Ronaldo, Ronaldo, Brazil in front, seconds into the second half, a lovely ball by Ronaldo to Ronaldo, who held off Koku and finished the blindly. Ronald de Boer, Kleibert, and Holland have saved themselves, great climb, fine header to a good cross. Oh, and Chuka, and he's onside. France really caught cold at the start of this second half. And Davo Chuka steps in. I think it was Turan playing him onside. Chuka steps in for his fifth goal of the World Cup finals. <laughs> Dalian caught by Turan. Turan! What a way to hit back. It was Boban who thought he had time that he didn't have. It was Djorkaev who slipped it through. And Lillian Turan, a villain at one end, is a hero at the other. Turan again! Well, can you believe it? He's never scored for France before tonight. And now he's got two. In a little over 20 minutes, and our France heading for the World Cup final. Yanni now, trying to get away from Jetsta. Rosinecki, 1-0 to Croatia. They just couldn't stop him getting a shot in on goal. Newman did his best, but his best wasn't good enough. Zenden, getting away from Yarni. Oh, what a strike by Zenden! Terrific goal! Hasn't really featured in this World Cup, and one wonders why now, looking at this goal. Asanovic, trying to get away from Sadorf. Boban, he's Shuka! It's his sixth goal of the World Cup. Is that good enough to win him the golden boot? Thank you forward. Zidane! Powerful header by Zinedine Zidane. France lead, 27 minutes gone. Leonardo couldn't get to him, Taparel stayed on his line. And the president celebrates. Zidane again! And again, Brazil looking poor defensively on the set piece. Petit away from it, Zidane into it. 2 0 France. Lots of possibilities here, Vieira, but he continues his run, which started from the back, and he scores, and gives France the perfect finish. It's a total celebration in the Stade de France. The hosts have won the World Cup in style.